how do you keep the magic alive in a sexual relationship when you're with the person for a very long time? There was recently a study done about monogamous relationships and how to keep the spice going. We'll tell you how to do it yourself, but first, thoughts, five words or less. Love isn't a magic trick. Let's talk about sex, baby. I just wanna sleep. Just do it, just do it. It's not that easy, Brett. I know it's not that easy. You don't wanna get into some kind of weird pattern that no one, you know, that you just, you're just like, ah, you know, this is a chore. Some people say that, it's a chore. Yeah. Also, it's just like, oh, it's for us for a while, it was like, it's 3 p.m. and one of us just took a shower. I was like, all right, that's great for me. Yeah, that's what. That's how what do works. did you guys saw all this? How do yeah. you keep the relationship alive? Did you agree or disagree with various parts of this? I, I no, I'm sorry, guys. I'm, Darren, go ahead, speak first. No, oh no, I do mean, it. ladies yeah, first. I, go I, ahead, Darren. No, for me, I feel like communication is number one, and I'm not the best at it. I will be the first to admit that. But communicating, I think, what you need is important because a lot of times you just assume that the other person knows what you're thinking. I do that all the time. I think. How does he not know that, like I, you know, that I need this? <laughs> you really want to know what it is. So, what do you need, you know, Darren? How do they not know that I need this thing? But um, you know, people aren't right. aren't mind readers, you yeah. know. And mm-hmm. and I think it's important to communicate in a nice, friendly way uh, things that you want and things that you need. And and I think that will um, not only make it easier for them, but then you'll obviously be more satisfied too. What really I agree because communication so uh, is hard for people when it comes to sex because sex itself is so revealing of a person's uh, preferences and how they want to be treated. And a lot of people don't have the courage to do just that, ask for Speak what up, they need, yeah. right? And so when I was reading this article. I it, it really resonated with me tenfold because I've been married to my man for we've been together for almost a decade now oh, and and se- thank you thank you guys Munchkin his name is Jason I call him Munchkin and that's how I'm gonna do it but um, <laughs> there it, there comes a time with it, with stress and being busy and working and and stressors of life that sex is the last thing you think about when you get home at night you know yeah. you you're tired you're stressed out and also. Uh, with age comes lower lower testosterone. There's a lot of things that come not into play. Not for me, but I understand. Well, I'm saying not <laughs> not for most men, but so there's a lot of things that come into play when yeah. it, like sometimes you're just not in the mood, but yet you stress out because you don't want your partner to feel rejected because right. you're not in the mood. You right. know, it's mm-hmm. it's always this. In my relationship, we always struggle with that because he's way more uh, ready to go, if you will, than I am, and only because. <laughs> I'm more mental about it. He's more physical, you know. So yeah. it's just very weird. But they, I read the article. Hopefully, we can include I've a link. I've got some of them. Yeah. Keep realistic expectations. Yes. Right. Absolutely. Don't realize. But for me, I remember the first time I was like walking around the house, and I and I was like, I don't, I couldn't have, I couldn't do it right now. I couldn't do it. <laughs> if, if she asked me, I wouldn't be able to do it right now. I just want to go to sleep. And I was like, Oh my god! And like the 13 year old version of myself is like, You idiot. That's terrible. You should just always be wanting to do it. Because remember when we were in class and you'd get mystery boners, you couldn't explain it. <laughs> All the time. N- nurture mutual attraction. Yeah. I don't know how to do that. You no, know, it's easy. You say, hey, boo, damn, that ass. Or, you know, so, something. Yeah. I well, oh my God. I know it's like, so much like, of this now. stuff like <laughs> sounds so sort of like awkward. Um, and clinical, but ultimately, I, a lot of it just sort of boils down to give your your person that sort of nurturing attention. Let them know that yeah, you are attracted to exactly. them, even if nothing is going to happen in that moment, just so that they know uh, that you that you're into them and that they that you, that you like them. And I feel like sometimes when you get really comfortable into a relationship, you sort of forget to do that little detail of just letting them know, like, yeah. I, I I love you. I think you're great. You're so pretty. Right. Yeah. That matters. It's it's you are. <laughs> and so that matters. Pretty, Darren. Oh my God. You Grace. are pretty, Darren. <laughs> oh my God. With, with that with that messy <laughs> bun up there. Yeah. It's so cute. It's so hey, cute. You don't about to me. Know about <laughs> yeah. okay. We're all just None of us want to talk about ourselves. We're right talking about Darren's. No, like, let's talk about Darren's about bun. Me. You're so cute. Let's run out the clock. But no. Go ahead, yeah. go ahead, Ben. Yeah. Well, I was just <laughs> thinking, like, it's so easy to give someone that you're living with reasons not to be attracted to you. <laughs> That's what I see right. all the time. Yes. I'll be True. walking around, and I have what we call the flouncy panties. <laughs> They're I, I buy underpants at Costco, <laughs> and I love them because they're just like. <laughs> You saw him when he did the photograph. They were very bad. Ben Mankiewicz comes up and goes, 
those are acceptable underpants to answer the door in because they look like shorts. And I told Ben Mankiewicz, <laughs> those are not sexy. We need to get Brett and Brett into a sexy brief. Oh no, I got I my know. Duluth Trading Company breathable things that she likes, but like yeah. I know I like those fine. But there's the other like boxer briefs. I'm like I hate them. They don't give me room. I hate that I didn't know that about you, and I believe it immediately. Immediately. Like, you are yeah. the flouncy panties man. But I feel like everybody has their version of that. Like, I have this nightgown that's just like <laughs> shapeless. It's just for like, you. Like, <laughs> definitely was made for somebody who's like 80 years old and 300 yeah. pounds. But it's so comfortable. And I love it. I don't care if I look bad or if I look good in it. Like, mm -hmm. you just wear it for you. It's comfortable. Did you watch The Marvelous Miss Maisel? I need no. to, I haven't seen it. It uh, takes place back in the day, like in the 50s or something. And there's a scene at the, in the first episode where she wakes up before her husband goes, takes a shower, does her makeup, and lies in bed like this to wake <laughs> up when he does, as though that's how she wakes up. But for years married, and her mom does it too, for years, the whole thing is she's lying to him about ever looking like she just woke up. Mm -mm. Oh, like, wow. that's the alternative. For me, exactly. I'd, I'd rather have a relationship where I'm just like, Gross when I when I need to be gross and like nice and I need to be nice, but I keep thinking like as I'm trying to like hit on my wife, I'm like, you know what I look like in flouncy panties. Well, I think there's <laughs> I think there's like a misconception that once you get comfortable with that person, that then the attraction dissipates. Mm -mm. Um, and I, I I don't think that that's true. It's I think, not. It I think be. that you can actually build like it brings this core uh, foundation to a relationship right. of we love each other and we are attracted to each other. Like come as you are, Absolutely. and I think that uh, you know Literally. you have to just ex accepting that. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Grace, that's Sorry, a great point. Like that that's a great that. point. Yeah, it was the look. One of those. It was disgusting, and I apologize. He Brett. literally just said a that. He didn't like a that's what she said. This flouncy like, come as you panty are, yeah. man. <laughs> dirty, dirty, dirty man with flouncy panties. Oh no! The sexiest thing my wife ever did was after I washed my underpants, she like <laughs> took them and like rolled them up, and they all look like uh, cigarettes in an old cigarette case. Ooh. They're all like perfect. I find it. I just find it so bizarre that you wear white to dump the dumps. But you had said <laughs> you had said that they're great. They're great. These it. are them. These are fancy panties, and they look wow. Oh, just to give you an idea. idea. They're high waisted. Stop. They are bad. No, and like Brett. then throughout the day, I mean, it just like gets. This, this is what she look, means by flouncy. Look at this. Send Brett new just underwear. Like they no, oh. no, no one cares. No, They're so wrong. They're for so me. So wrong. But I want to share with everyone. And thank you for sharing. Now I can't. Un I can't unshare that. <laughs> um, but I love you had said your wife knows you when you're just like gross. So Munchkin is the sexiest when he wakes up in the morning with bedhead, little che little cheeks, sweaty. I'm just like mm, because <laughs> it's just it's just as you said. You just you. It's welcoming. You you come as yeah. you are. You take them as they are because that's why you love this person. And love is when you love everything about them, right? They don't. Yeah. I would hate if Munchkin rolled out of bed and got back into bed with just done, fresh, everything waiting for me to wake up. That would not be natural. At all. It, yeah. The hardest thing for us to do is to be vulnerable. Yes. And, I, and I think yeah. that really opening yourself up to someone uh, and, and allowing them in, just hold your how I know, I know everything. I literally that I'm wasn't doing anything. And is is a scary thing. Yeah. And so I think that sometimes you want to uh, try and control it. And the, the love and the art of attraction is you cannot be controlled. The fire in your pants. Please buy <laughs> Grace's new book, The Fire in Your Pants, with on the, Amazon. With the epilogue by Brett Ehrlich.